We've still got a few new bosses to kill. And I also know a very quick way to get more damage. So it turns out if I go back to this maze on the picnic table, and then hit this multi-sided dice till it hits a 20 on the upper side, using what I think has to be a two-handed club. There it is. Just gotta find the number 20. Which is currently all the way on the bottom, so we gotta give it a big hit. One more hit should do it. 20 side up. Once you do that, it does this. And then we get Coupe de Grasse level 2. Which increases my critical hit chance, I believe, up to as high as 25%. So we just went from about a 1 in uh, 10 critical hit chance to a 1 in 4. And look at all this raw science, it's in a very hard to get into can. There was a thousand just sitting there. Anyways, whoops, let's uh, find out about our new damage. But we should just be doing a lot more damage. That was definitely a critical hit. That took off almost all of his health and that was a regular hit. Okay, turns out bees might have been the wrong thing to hit because they're flying. It's a little bit hard to hit with a sword. Uh, the bow and arrows too should also count though. Because I've definitely done critical hits with the bow and arrow. And it's very strong by itself. So one way or another we're doing lots of damage. Actually that reminds me, I can actually upgrade my sword skill too. All I gotta do is kill 50 creatures to start. I feel like every good idea should start with a good murder spree. Ooh, this will be a good test. Haven't fought one of these in a while. These are pretty strong. They used to be one of the strongest. Now there was three hits on him. Whoops, didn't mean to miss that. So the next one, statistically, very well could be a critical hit. One, two, three. Hit number two might have been a crit, but this thing died very easy. I don't even want your parts. Don't waste my time. And since I need to rack up about 50 kills with a sword, I'm going to park myself right by this anthill because there's sure to be a lot of idiots around I can just murder endlessly. Like, look at all these volunteers. Come here. They only take two hits. We can just sit here and conquer ants all day long. Well, we're not at 50 yet. Okay, we are at 50. We got our first blade master. That was definitely quicker than I thought. Combo attacks with swords have a chance to reduce stamina cost of further combos. That sounds helpful. Okay, hold that thought. I was interrupted by this rude soldier ant who knocked me back a little bit, but is soon to die. Thank you. I also have a perk for extra ant defense and damage. That's three out of three. Okay, we're gonna have to go directly to the source to be able to get enough to get this level three. I need to go 150 more idiots. I also realize I'm probably going to wear out my sword pretty bad doing this, so I need to look what it's going to be to actually uh, fix this thing, because it's probably really expensive. Did you idiots not building my sword? And to be able to upgrade this any further, I need quartzite globs. Luckily, I've made it my life's mission to basically collect quartzite for the past four and a half days. So there's some quartzite globs already done. Then we can craft a few more, and then we can make another two after this. Just gotta grab a few ants' attention. Now they should be coming back to me. I only have about 45 more to kill. I've gotta say, I really do like the durability on this sword. I've killed like a thousand ants and it's only dropped a pinch. Okay, after smelting quartzite globs for the past little while, we can upgrade my sword, so we're gonna get an extra 10% damage. And we're still gonna need another uh, four quartzite globs to get another 10% damage on top of that, but that's lots. And apparently you can eat the mint shards. And I think if you get enough of them, you actually get a perk. Now the other thing I also want to make is the roly-poly armor, and we need pupa leather for that. We need a lot of it. Look who I found. We always need parts from this guy, so let's see how much damage we can do. He's coming my way. Blocked him. Did a bit of damage to me. Not much. The critical hits were melting him, and he's super strong. Just got to avoid. One, two, dead. Not quite dead. One more hit. Dead. <laughs> we're much stronger now. This is going to be a good day. We're not going to need too much more power, and then we can go boss hunting. And I found another one. Actually, I kind of went looking for him to be fair. But, uh... Okay. Oh, I didn't know he could hit me out of that, you sneaky little monster. Okay, he's gonna... Come in for a hit. We're gonna go back and hit him. One, two, three. Good, stupid. Now I'm gonna need a little bit of health back. His roll attempt failed, so one, two, three. Dead. I love how powerful this sword is. Give me all your parts. I'm over here in the corner and I'm mostly here for the pupas, but also a few other things as well. I need these for the armor, uh, for the leather for the super armor, but then I also need the bugs for some more weapon upgrades, uh, as well as the quartzite. I just realized my armor is completely broken, so we're just gonna have to make do with this for now. And I think these canyons are the best place to find everything I need, because I could find the quartzite and the pupa. I will take these mints though and eat them because I need a bit of food anyway. Well, I'm going to hold on to them for now and eat them when I need room in my inventory is more accurate. They're very rare, but I'm very rich. And I reserve the right to put whatever I want into my mouth at any given time. Okay, he's going to charge. Blocked. One, two, three. So he's still pretty strong. Uh, and I don't have any armor, so that's a losing battle. 
So in total, I think I'm going to need 60 pupas if I've done my math correctly. We usually get one to two per thing, so it's going to be a few minutes of grinding. But anything for the ultimate armor. Since I seem to have temporarily mined out all the pupa, we are headed for the doormat over there, or the abandoned glove, which is somewhere nearby also. That was quick, I found the abandoned glove. This is what I need, the lint. We turned that into ropes, it's going to be very good for armor. In fact, we absolutely need it. I'm not sure if this is the way I was supposed to go, but I did find my way on top of the wood pile where the termites are. And we found ourselves a mosquito, so yeah, you're not as strong as you used to be compared to me, so we'll go ahead and give you one of those. Oh, my Blade Master leveled up again. There's another mosquito over there who's already annoying me just with the sound. Yeah, you better run away. There's also kind of a little hole in the pouch. Okay, I'll take this. Now the mosquito's trying to get me, but he's stuck outside because he's stupid. This is kind of interesting. There's a wolf spider and a whole bunch of mosquitoes up here, but I'm sure there's something good up here to be had. Well, there's definitely some of these things, so I know where to get these from now on. Do you mind? I'm trying to do something. I don't have armor for this. Any death is a good death for a mosquito. We can all agree on that. I'm probably not going to mind the rest of those. I feel like that's kind of a rare finite resource, so I'd rather have somewhere I know where they are rather than take them and lose them. I feel like, yeah, there's a big molar down there and there's a bunch of mints here. We'll maybe shoot these guys for a sec. At least until they're stupid enough to walk into my sword, which is very strong, by the way. Oh, and then we might have to deal with the wolf spider, who seems to be very aggressive. Okay, we blocked him. Two, three. Ow. Yeah, I forgot they could one-shot me. Okay, this time we're just going to take the milk molar and probably leave. The mosquito's already dead. I just don't feel like fighting a wolf spider without armor. I will, however, get greedy and take this science. It's in the water. I guess the one good thing about mosquitoes is they're kind of dumb. They really just keep flying straight at you. Okay, unfortunately, I'm seeing a lot of dust mites. But I think this might actually be the floor mat, so it's just a matter of getting in to get the things without getting the dust mites killing me. So far, so good. They're not very quick. They're just really annoying. These pupa pieces are really slow to spawn in. So for now, I think I'm just going to have to make do with what I've got. Now, I feel kind of stupid about this because I looked at these pupa in the ceiling and thought, maybe you could shoot those down. But then I never tried. This stupid ladybug thinks it's better than me, so I'm going to have to shoot her in the face until it dies. Shouldn't take more than a minute. I would go down there with my sword. I don't have the armor for that, so we're just going to play 25% critical hit chance until you're dead. It's just kind of accepted its fate. It's not even moving anymore. Well, thank you for your sacrifice. Anyways, if you shoot them, they will fall. And these are a limited resource, so I'm going to grab every one of these I can. All the way back at base now, and I can upgrade my uh, katana even another 10% damage. Which happily also repairs it. Okay, after gathering all the pupa I could find, I've got 9 pupa leather. Which does mean I can make the roly-poly breastplate. And we don't actually need leather for the roly-poly leg plates. So I can at least have two parts of this set, and then I could wear my feather hat anyway because I like to do bow damage. So now I've got tons of armor, uh, plus I can do bow damage. So let's test this armor and new damage against a ladybug. I think I have my critical hits still equipped. There's three hits and it's not dead, but it's pretty close to dead. Ow. Okay, that hardly hurt at all, and that's a ladybug charge, so we're in good hands. Uh, someone else will clean that up. Okay, now let's try a spider. Hey, stupid. One, two, three. Almost dead. One flurry. I think it hit me there, but it really didn't do much damage either. I'm very strong like this, and I'm very excited about it. All right, well, now that I have about the strongest armor set and weapon in the game, it's time to go boss hunting. But I think we'd also better test our luck against wolf spider. He's asleep anyway, so how tough could he be? One, two, three. Uh, he didn't one-shot us this time. Uh, the poison was about to kill me anyway, and I missed the swing. But I could kill one of them easy. To be fair, when I started the fight with the wolf spider, I was already at half health, so he had an unfair advantage. I've also finally gotten up close to chewing gum for, I think, the first time, so I might as well collect some of that. I'm not entirely sure what we make uh, out of it, but I'll take it when I find it. Ooh, how about a termite? We can see how strong these are. That's a soldier, too. One, two, three. Okay, I forgot they're resistant to our uh, blades. Arrows are the way to go. Oh, there's a scarab beetle too. Well, whatever. We'll uh, finish the termite off. It's a shame the sword isn't good against everything, but some things are resistant to different kinds of damage. So my understanding of the first boss is to get up here onto this ledge, jump down into the fertilizer bag, and there he is hiding beside on the gun. This is the buster cap gun area. It's probably got some cool loot around. I mostly just want to fight the giant bug. 
So I'm just gonna go in guns hot. One, two, ooh, he's got lots of health. Are you stuck? Well, you're not making this very hard, but why'd you put yourself up there then, you big idiot? Well, I was looking forward to having a big epic battle with this bug. But since the opportunity is available, I'm just going to go ahead and kill you if that's alright with you. Definitely landed a few critical hits. I keep forgetting I got the new perk that gets me lots of critical hits. But it really doesn't matter at this point. We're doing so much damage anyway. Green shield bug. Give me your stuff. Uh, super stink sack. That's a new one. What does this super stink sack do? Turns out there's not really much of anything down here. Except the boss, of course. But he's dead, so we're moving on to the next boss. But I've got a few hours to kill before nightfall. And I'm pretty sure this guy still wants to fight. Hopefully my extra armor is going to be enough to help carry me through the fight a little bit. Wow, we actually took off a lot of damage there. When we're doing crits on that third hit, it's big. And... blocked. Okay, that hurt way less than it usually would. We might actually be able to just straight up 1v1 him like this. That's impressive. We don't even have the full armor set yet. We just have two-thirds of it. I don't know what he's doing. Okay, he's gonna charge. Okay, that one hurts still. Okay, I get it. You can still hurt me when you want to. I'm not sure why he keeps doing that. Okay, he got me there, but I don't really know what he's doing. This time I got it for sure. Dodge the rock. He takes a second before he attacks again. We're just gonna keep circling, doing lots of uh, crits, hopefully. Ow. Okay, never mind. He's quicker than I thought. Stun would also help. Is that the other beetle? Did I just see the other beetle? Yeah, the other beetle jumped down. That's not great. Come on, come this way for a sec. I need to block your hits. I can't fight both of you at once. I probably could have some practice, but I'm not going to. Come on. Okay, there it is. Get over here. Boink. One, two, three. That would have been a critical hit that would have killed him. Anyways, ow. I think he is dead, so I 1v1 the Black Ox beetle. Give me your stuff and let me run. Uh, we can push our lock. We can fight two of these. Ow. What's with all the bugs getting stuck? This one's especially stupid. He knows he gets stuck there. He was stuck here for like, ow. Okay, we're going to have to deal with this in a different manner. Didn't expect one of these to come in. We're fighting like 80 different bugs at once. One at a time, please. Especially when they're the big bad bugs. Now, where was I? Hitting you in the rear. Those weren't critical hits. This one might be one, two, three. No critical hits. It's supposed to be like one in four. I don't know what that's about. But maybe one here? Well, whatever. This Am I getting sizzled again by one of these idiots? Yeah. I don't even know where the loot from the other one went now. I have to track that down in a sec after I kill yet another one. Are you also stuck? We gotta work in your guys' brains or something. You're pretty dumb. Anyways, now let's take a look for the next boss. So this is the termite's den, but I think I might have found a quicker way through it. Uh, and apparently I can chop splinters. Are those real things? What's a wooden splinter? What do we do with that? I didn't notice that the first time I came through here. But I know where to get splinters now, so if we analyze them and they're good, I'll come back for more. For now, I've got idiots to deal with. So let's see who's hiding down in the danger hole on this side of things. Okay, I thought it would immediately lead to like a giant termite chamber. I mean, there's obviously termites here, but not the one I'm looking for. So we'll go this way. That looks like a termite king to me. Hello, sir. I'm here to kill you. I just realized that termites are resistant to the sword, and this is technically a really big termite. Ow. Oh, we're really resistant to his damage. I guess we do have the super armor on, so this isn't nearly as hard as I thought it would be. I'm just going to keep killing you, though, if that's all right with you. Can confirm, was definitely standing in acid. Uh, as long as I kind of stick and move, though, I think I'm going to be all right. Ow. I think I'm going to be all right. One, two, three. Wait, backing up. Oh, this is kind of a bad little corner to be in, huh? One, two, three. Okay, well, the Termite King is officially dead. Um, the idiots don't die with him, unfortunately, which is actually really annoying. So they're going to try and follow me down this hallway where I'm going to shoot them one by one. Uh, eventually, they will die or leave me alone. Either way, I'm happy. Ow, that's actually doing a lot of damage. And I also need to see what the Termite King dropped. Oh, there's still one more. Of course there is. And I'm starting to aggro them from the other side, so this is getting just really annoying really quickly. So, Termite King Carapace and the Burgle Chip is definitely something I need. I think that's probably all he dropped. But we got a new Burgle Chip. Yeah, the fight was not as hard as I thought it was going to be, but we do have a pretty good weapon and armor, so not much of anything really stands too much of a chance. Except apparently basic Termites, because these are the hardest thing of all. Oh, there's a second Carapace. Okay, there's lots of those pieces around, apparently. Uh, I kind of forgot where I killed him, but I guess he exploded. 
I also haven't fought a mosquito since I had this armor on. Oh, never mind. He's dead. Okay, here comes another one. Come here. Hit me. I want to see how good my armor is. Uh, this is going to be a clunky fight. We'll pull you down to even ground. Don't you worry. He forgot me way up there. I also just realized I haven't killed one of my favorite idiots yet since I made this armor. So let's see how tough we are now. Oh, we did a lot of damage to him. He seems so weak in comparison now. Yeah, you just... Ow. Yeah, lie there and have a nap. Good idea. So that definitely hurt, but it didn't kill me. So as long as you don't get hit by whatever he has next. Two, three. Oh, we killed him before he was able to... Yeah, okay, that makes it a lot easier. Okay, so let's see what this all turns into, starting with the super stink sack, which is rare. Super gas arrows, that sounds like something I could get behind, and that's a lot of experience. The wood splinters are uncommon. They make splinter arrows. Oh, interesting. Then the termite king carapace, which is a rare item. Termite armor, interesting. So the gas arrows, arrows that create an extremely powerful stink cloud, and they're made out of splinter arrows. Uh, sharp and deadly arrows, they're tier 3 arrows, so those are going to do a ton of damage. You just need uh, dust mite fuzz and wooden splinters. And the termite armor is tier 3. Super tough, fast for a segment of fallen termite. Uh, pretty hard to make. Light armor, it makes you harvest grass and rocks quicker. So I guess next time we can harvest grass and rocks and shoot stuff with new arrows. 